The president and the Speaker of the House just feet away from each other at the national prayer breakfast today, but there was no truce, and they've sparked yet another round of fireworks tonight. Correspondent Leland Vittert is tracking the story. Hey, Leland. Wouldn't be another day without it, right, Shannon? Civility and humility are rare qualities anywhere. But in Washington these days, they are almost impossible to find. But you would think if you could find them somewhere in this town, anywhere, you would hope the national prayer breakfast would be it. By God Almighty. And for a moment, civility and humility existed less than 24 hours after President Trump's acquittal in his Senate impeachment trial. The man impeached, those who impeached him, and his jury gathered in prayer. Then the president held up a newspaper headline that said it all. If only he had stopped there, but he didn't. I don't like people who use their faith as justification for doing what they know is wrong. Nor do I like people who say, I pray for you, when they know that that's not so. Not to name names, but it appeared the president was speaking to many of those who were just praying with him and said they prayed about impeaching him. This is something that is very solemn, that is something prayerful. We're going to continue to move forward prayerfully. Democrats, too, are prayerful. After the breakfast, Nancy Pelosi certainly didn't turn the other cheek. He's talking about things that he knows little about, faith and prayer. Donald Trump Jr. wrote on Twitter, the likelihood of Nancy Pelosi praying for Trump is about the same as the likelihood of Satan running around quoting the scriptures. Montana Democrat John Tester didn't quote scripture, but chose the sixth commandment to defend Mitt Romney's faith. I think it's ironic that the president goes after him, uh, a man who had an affair with a porn star while his wife was pregnant. That's the ultimate of ironies. So perhaps in these divided times, we can all find solace in the words which are said to have been inscribed on the side of the temple by Solomon, because they are forever true in good times and in bad. The Hebrew is gam ze yavor. In English, it translates to this too shall pass. And if perhaps you like these times, Shannon, remember this too shall pass as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the news cycle is so quick, there'll be something else within 24 hours. All right, Leland, thank you.